Well, I've just taken a moment to chop up all of the vegetables that need to go into the Oscar Neal or any horizontal slow juicer. They need to be chopped into small pieces so they can fit into the very small hole that's at the top of this juicer and to make sure that the juicer doesn't clog. On the other plate, they have the exact same amount of ingredients, but as you can see, other than peeling my orange, nothing has been chopped because of the large shoot or the big mouth on the Optimum 600 juicer. Now what I'm going to do is feed everything through the Optimum 600 reducer and everything through the Oscar Neo one by one. I'm going to use my trusty little device here to time how long that, that takes exactly. So just give me a moment, let's get ready to rock and roll and we will start timing now. The juicer goes on and off we go. You'll notice with these horizontal slow juices that you do need to use the tamper to push in the ingredients so that they actually go down into the screw or the auger and get juiced. So we're going to pop some greens in there as well as some fresh fruits and vegetables. Right, I'm stopping the juicer now and I've turned the timer off. It was four minutes and 53 seconds to juice what we had there. Three uh, carrots, a small green apple, a piece of ginger and one peeled orange along with about a half of a stem of celery for flavour. So we've popped all that through the Oscar Neo or this horizontal slow juicer. We're going to pour it into a big cup and set that aside while we juice through the Optimum 600 juicer and see what we get out of that one. So if you have a little look at the cup now, you can see that it's about half full and it doesn't have much foam on the top, ready to drink and absolutely delicious tasting, I'm sure. But let's see what we get out of the Optimum 600 juicer. Mm -hmm. 